Hey everyone and welcome back to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw Baby Bugs Bunny. Let's get started in the middle of our page with a tiny oval for the nose. Starting from the top, we're going to go out to the side and then back up to the top. Now we're just going to draw the tops of the cheek. So just on the left side of the oval, just at the top, we're going to curve up and out towards the left. Up and then out. Let's do the same thing on the right side. So starting on the top of the nose on the right, curve up and then out towards the right. Now before I go any further, I'm just going to draw in the mouth, just below the nose here. In the middle, I'm going to draw a little point. From that point, I want to curve down and up towards the left. Coming down and up, it's almost like a little half circle. We'll do the same thing on the right side, going up. Now we're going to just draw in the tops of the cheek. So right here, we're going to curve down and up and over to the left. Curve down and up over towards the right. Right in the middle here, we're going to draw in the little tooth. So right at the point here, I'm just going to draw a short little line coming down. Now on either side, we're going to draw two straight lines coming downwards. A little bit longer. Now we're going to connect the bottoms with a straight line to close it off. Now let's draw on the bottom of the mouth. So we're going to start at the bottom of the cheeks. We're going to curve in, coming down, and then we'll round out the bottom just down to about here. So on the left side, we're going to curve in and down, and then we'll just round it out towards the bottom. We're going to do the same thing on the right side. Starting at the bottom of the cheek, in and down and then just connect it towards the bottom of the mouth. At the bottom here we're just going to tuck a little tongue in here. So on the left side we're going to curve up towards the tooth and then down. Just below the mouth I'm going to draw a little curve for the bottom of the lip. Just curving across like that. Let's go ahead and finish off the cheeks. So we want to add a little bit of fur on the side here. So from this point I'm going to curve it back in. We're going to curve back down, sort of aiming down towards the chin area down here. So we're going to curve down pull that back up. Now I'm going to curve the bottom of the chin. We're just going to come down right below the mouth beside this little lip here. So right here we're going to curve around and just aim in towards the lip. Let's do the same thing on the right. So we're going to start at the tip, we're going to curve back in, and we're going to curve downwards. Curving down and we'll pull that back up. Now I'm going to do the same thing I did on the left. I'm going to curve it in and towards the lip. We curve down and we'll pull that back to right about there. Let's go up above the cheeks and draw in the eyes. So I'm going to draw a big half oval just on the outside here. So starting at the top point, we're going to curve up to the top of the eye. And now we're just going to pull it down on the inside, it's right there. We'll do the same thing on the right. Starting just right of the nose, curve up to the top, and we'll curve it back down on the right side. Now let's layer the pupils on the inside. So we step down on the inside here, we're going to draw a curve. It's almost like a half oval that goes up and out towards the left and then down. We go up and then we'll just pull that down. Let's do the same thing on the right. Starting up here, curving up and then we'll pull it down. Let's add a little highlight on the top left area. So on the left here, draw a little oval and then on the right we'll do the same thing, just on the inside of the eye. Now we're going to go ahead and color the eye in black. Right above the nose, just in between the eyes, I'm just going to draw a little curve for a little wrinkle. From here, I'm going to draw on the sides of the head going up above the eye. So we're going to start just left of the eye. We're going to curve in towards the eye, just kind of follow the eye around and then in. So starting up here above the cheek, we're going to curve up above the eye and we'll just pull it in just a little. We're going to do the same thing on the right side. We're going to start on the inside this time, curve up above the eye, coming down alongside the eye and then we'll just pull it outwards as we get towards the cheek. Now up in the top here, we're gonna add a little bit of fur on the top of the head. So on the top of this brow, we're gonna curve up and out towards the right. Now I wanna curl this around and bring it back in towards the left, curving it back in. We're gonna draw another hook, aiming out towards the right, and we'll pull it back towards the left. We're gonna do one more, now we're gonna angle this one down a little bit further. We're gonna go across, and then we'll pull that back up. Just up here, on the second little curl, I'm just going to curve this back in behind the brow. Let's go ahead and add in the two big ears. So just up above the brow, we're going to step up, we're going to curve in, and then curve it out. We'll do the same thing on the right. So we're going to line up the front, 
curve it in, and then curving it out to the same height. Now we're going to curve it in the opposite direction in towards the side of the brow. Starting on the left at the very top, we're going to curve it out, and we'll just pull that back into the side of the brow. Let's do the same thing on the right. Wait out, and now we're going to pull that back in towards the side of the brow. Let's add in the inner ear detail. So from the very top, we're going to step down and over towards the left a little. We're just going to follow this curve coming downwards and over towards the left. Now we're going to layer a line coming in behind this. So from the top, we're going to step down a little. Just follow that curve going around and then down towards the bottom. Let's do the same thing on the right. So stepping down from the top, shifting over towards the right, curve down, just following that curve down towards the bottom. Now we're gonna draw the opposite side. So from this point, we're gonna step back, just follow that curve all the way down, and then pull that into the bottom point. Now that we have the head, let's work our way down the body. I'm gonna have the arms coming down and up in front of the body here. So let's start with the left hand first, just below the eye, just in this area. So we start right down here, we do a curve coming down and then up. It's almost like a half oval. We're gonna step down and draw another curve, just follow that same curve going up. Now we're going to do that one more time, but we're going to circle around the hand and then just pull this in beside the line here. Starting on the side of this finger, we're going to curl around, circling around. Now we're just going to pull this in towards the side of the hand here. I'm going to draw a little trim for the glove. So at the top of the hand, we're going to just circle around the outside of the hand and then just pull that in towards the bottom. Now just on the side here, I'm going to draw the outside part of the arm. So stepping up, we're going to curve around and tuck this in underneath the head. Let's take that arm and flip it over on the right side. So we're going to start by drawing this little finger here. So right around here, a little half oval, curving around like that. We're going to step down, we'll draw another curve for the second finger. Now the third finger, we're going to go all the way up to the top, circle around the back of the hand, and then just pull that in towards the side of that finger. Now we're going to draw that little trim at the top, we'll curve around the hand, down towards the bottom. Now we're going to draw the outside of the arm. So we start down here, curving around the hand, and we'll tuck that in underneath the head. Right in between the hands, right in here, I just want to draw a little curve that bends out towards the right, just to indicate the chest. Let's go ahead and tuck the lower body and the legs underneath the arms. Now I'm going to have the body sort of turned towards the right and have the legs sort of crossed. So we start on the side, right down here underneath this arm, I'm going to draw the little back, just curving in. Now from here, I'll curve the lower part of the leg and work my way in towards the toe. So from this point, I'm going to curve out towards the left, come down towards the bottom. Now right in here, I'm just going to curl it back. We're going to draw another toe. So right at the bottom here, we're going to draw another curve going up. Now this third toe, we're going to curve up above the toes, down and towards the side of the leg here. Starting over here, we're going to curve in and up. Now as we get towards the outside, we're going to curve down and then pull it straight out towards the side of the leg. Up at the top, I want to draw a little wrinkle. So right here, we're just going to draw a curve that goes out. From that same point, I want to curve the front of the thigh going up and over. So we're going to go in, and we'll just pull that across like that. Let's draw on the side of the body. So right underneath this chin, we're going to step over towards the right and curve out and down behind the hand. Now this belly is going to come across and then underneath in behind the leg here. Starting down here, curve around, and then we'll just pull that in behind the leg. Let's draw on the opposite side of the belly patch here. So we're going to start at the same point, we're going to move over towards the left, curving in behind the hand, we'll tuck that in behind the thigh. Now let's draw on the opposite leg. So we're basically taking this leg and flipping it over. So we're going to start on the hip, we're going to curve down, now we're going to round up the back of the leg towards the toe. So we're going out down towards the toe, and we'll just curl that back up. We'll draw a second toe beside it. So right here, curving around and over. Now the third toe is going to get clipped in behind this toe here. So we step at the bottom, going in behind that toe. Now up here, we're going to curve over the toes, coming down, and we'll just flatten it out towards the side of the leg. We draw that little wrinkle, going across like that. Now at the same point, I'm going to curve in. Curve in underneath the belly. The final thing, we're going to add a little tail over on this side. So we're going to start just below the arm, curve up towards the left. We're going to pull that back down, just tapering that line. And we're going to go up again. Now we're going to curve.
curve it down even further. Curve it down. Go out one more time. Now we're gonna pull us in behind the body here. So curve it down and in behind the body. I wanna draw a little trim in here. So at the second point, we're gonna curve in towards the back there. Just above the wrist, I'm gonna add a little line just to separate the forearm and the upper arm. So right up here in this point where the hand meets the cuff, curve over towards the left. We'll do the same thing on the right. So right here, we're gonna curve over towards the right. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Baby Bugs Bunny. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send us your art for a chance to be featured in our monthly artist spotlight. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.